It's it's hard to believe that uh, what happened yesterday with Tom Brady. Now it feels like he never even left. Uh, Tom Brady, once again, coming back, 23rd NFL season. How do you think that changes what we're going to see in free agency this season? Uh, I think this was all about timing. You know, he makes this decision in part because maybe he got tired of hanging out with his family for a couple of months. Didn't take long. 40 no, days. No, it did. 40 I mean, nights, right? He'd rather get hit by a 300-pound lineman than have to deal <laughs> with staying with his kids and entertaining them all day. Uh, the reality is this. The timing of it, though, matters because he does it before free agency starts. It allows him the chance to recruit some of these guys either back on the roster other guys they value in free agency. And then obviously going into the draft, you know what you're dealing with. You're not looking for a potential replacement to Tom Brady. Now you're looking at how we can maximize this time frame with Tom Brady. And maybe if you are looking at a quarterback, you're more thinking, okay, we've got a year to groom this guy under Tom Brady for another year if they don't think Kyle Trask, who they drafted in the second round a year ago, is the future. So there's all those things out there for them, but the timing of this I think was big for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Not getting a call like a Brett Favre in July saying, hey, I want to come on back and play now. No, they're, they're setting things up to try to at least run it back one more time again with a similar group or something close to it. You know, this is no different than Brady Quinn. I mean, it's Tom Brady, Brady Quinn. Brady grinds during the season. He has college games. He does stuff for us. He does all this stuff. And then the season's over, and I can tell you right now, his wife is probably ready to kick him out the, out the door every day. Get him out of <laughs> here. Where you're that's going. why he's in the studio, why I'm not. It's no different. I think that's what happened here. I think in the beginning, I think the family wanted him to retire. I really do. And they decided, they looked around, they said, no, wait a second, what's he going to do? <laughs> he didn't want to retire. If it was up to him, he would have kept playing. He's playing at MVP level. This works for him. I think it's a smart move. He can come back, try and win another title. And it's good that it happened now so Tampa Bay can build it. Got Ryan Jensen back. I mean, they brought his center back because he came back. I think it was important in the timing. Uh, and Tampa Bay is another contender in the NFC. You guys are all wrong. I know exactly the moment that Tom Brady decided to come back. He went over. I'm sure you guys saw the pictures that he took with Cristiano Ronaldo, but he sat in the stands as a fan. That is the hmm. worst place to be as a former player. Like, wait a second. This is what life is like after you're done playing. I, I, I kid, and I totally agree with you guys, because his wife and family have been asking him to retire, going all the way back for, uh, to his Tom vs. Time documentary with Facebook, which was well over three years ago. Uh, so, yeah, there's been pressure on them to go. But I think Tom Brady felt like he wanted to still come back. So I, that's why I never thought he was going to walk away, because how do you walk away after a season like that, going down against the eventual Super Bowl champions when you had your team in a position to win and your defense couldn't off the, get off the field? And then as you guys mentioned about a down NFC, I, I don't think Tom Brady comes back if he doesn't feel like he has a chance to win another Super Bowl. And he's probably surveying the entire landscape, even with Aaron Rodgers coming back and he's saying, man, I, we could bring the put the band back together. I could come back and we can make a run at this thing. Um, so I, I think it was pretty, the writing was on the wall. And then for as far as the impact on free agency, the other quarterbacks that were potentially thinking about going to Tampa is who I think it, this impacts the most. You know, if they were kicking the tires into Sean Watson, Baker Mayfield, some of the names that they were considering bringing in, obviously those are the kind of and Mitchell Trubisky. They had thought about him. Any of those other free agent quarterbacks now, obviously not a landing spot for him in what we thought was going to be a wild quarterback carousel. We've already seen it, but this door being closed now with Brady back in uh, under center there, I think it impacts those quarterbacks greatly. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.